Fíjate que sí. Sabes que a mí no me gusta lo dulce y cuando veo mucho dulce así, a mí no me apetece. Pero eso, yo, fíjate, y fíjate así como soy yo. Yo, Leita, ¿verdad? Ah, a morir, ¿no? A morir, soy lo más pegado a lo normal.
Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to the class number 14. Class 14, class 14. So it means that just tomorrow and then we're going to have weekend. That is a really good news. So welcome back. Here we have Carly. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? Did you have a party tonight? Do you have a party or you have a party <laughs> after the class? No. Yeah. Tomorrow. No. Oh, wow, really? Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. That's that's really nice in in your in your school. Uh, no. Ah, okay. My mm, house. Okay. Mm, I'm not <laughs> going to ask anything. Okay. It's secret, no problem. No problem. Good, good for you. Okay. And let's listen to some others. Here we have also Kathy, que va de camino. Roberto, Elizabeth, eh, Juan, Christy, Helen, William, Gabriel, Flor, Jocelyn, and Frank. Okay, my friends. I hope this class eh, like could be like entertained. Espero que esta clase esté con entretenida. Eh, pues esperamos que no se sienta tanto. Okay. Maybe, let's see. 
um, Tuesday class was kind of difficult. Creo que la clase del martes fue un poquito, así que yo lo sentí que todos veníamos cansaditos, espero que esta vez pues no tanto. I know it's like uh, the tiredness, el cansancio, tiredness, it's sometimes accumulated, se acumula, and that is very common. Okay, so to start here we have this, let me see. Okay, um, class number 14. Simple present for temporary situations. This is, uh, well, a topic that you already know. I don't think we can have problems with this. So it means class 14, six classes left, six classes que nos quedan pues para para terminar el módulo. So remember, uh, tomorrow, Friday, and then weekend. That we are waiting for a weekend. Creo que todos estamos esperando el fin de semana con ansia. Definitely, we are waiting for it. Okay, so uh, before we continue, um, I remember that uh, there was a speaking activity too that we didn't ask to some of you. No le permite a algunos de ustedes. Acerca de esto, vamos a ver si están aquí algunos de ustedes. Eh, let's listen to. Ok, Roberto. Yesterday, I didn't ask you, no les pregunté ayer por andar todo disparado, ok. And I don't know why the time passed really fast. Pasó rápido el, el tiempo. Ok, Roberto, do you have your opinion about do you think schools are teaching the skills needed in life? Ok. Yes. I believe that school are teaching certain values, but values of uh, empathy. Okay, let's see. I don't know if you have any problems. Is this it? The internet. Oh, let's. Listen to Judith. Can you hear me? Me escucha Judith. Judith, hello. Sí, le escucho. No, oh, okay, se queda sin suspenso. Yo. Okay. No, creo que no me escucho. Okay, yes, yes. And let's see. Um, let me see. Hay algunos. Okay, uh, Roberto, maybe we had some difficulties. Tuvimos unas cuantas dificultades, ¿verdad? Con internet, creo que no te escuchamos los últimos. Que estabas comentando, you were uh, saying that uh, values, uh, schools uh, are teaching values, okay? And uh, I don't know what, what else okay. you were mentioning. I believe that schools are teaching certain values. But values such as uh, empathy and communication, among others, need to be given more important. Yes, that's it. And also, um, maybe those values can be taught also uh, in the house, okay, from home. Okay, but yes, you're right, Roberto. Thank you. Very nice point of view. Um, Let's listen in this case. Maybe we have, let me see, I'm going to make a certain interior. Um, Flor, good evening. Are you there? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Flor. Okay, I didn't ask you this yesterday. Can you answer now? Do you have your, your opinions about yesterday's question? La pregunta ya, tendrás tu opinión? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. I, uh, I do not think because in school they teach you the theory, the skill are developed by each person and not a lot of how the some skills. Okay, yes, that's it. Very nice. We have some skills. And we have to learn some other skills that are really important. Thank you, Flor. What about now, Juan? Are you there, Juan? Good evening. If Juan is not ready, 
What about uh, Patty or Nelson? Are you there? Okay, maybe not. What about in this case? William and Christy. I don't know if William is ready. Is this is a list of William. Or in that case, maybe Christy. It, see, teacher. Okay, please. No, because the teach a lot of theory and theory practice. Okay, very nice. Yes, and that's true. We have some theory, and that's the problem sometimes that we, as students, we need practice. We need practice. And kids, they need it more. Los niños necesitan más de hecho. Okay. Really nice, and uh, let's see. Now let's continue with the topic of tonight. Thank you for your opinions. Okay, so in this case, we're going to start with the new vocabulary of the, the class, and this is ways to say I hate. Formas de decir, eh, por ejemplo, Yo odio o no me gusta. Ok. I hate. What to say? I hate. Cuando se no soportan algo, cuando realmente no les parece algo. You can say, uh, you can say um, from different uh, from different points of view. Ok. So just give me a second. I'm going to check something. Okay, so okay, um show you this. Okay. Different forms to say I hate. Formas para decir yo odio, no me gusta, me cae mal eso o lo otro. The first one is I can't bear. Okay. I can't bear. I can tolerate. Let's see. Okay. I can't bear. I can't tolerate, tolerate, I detest, it annoys me, annoy is molestar, incomodar, okay, it annoys me, uh, the other is I can't stand, no soporto, es como que algo realmente que le incomoda, okay, so uh, you can say I can't bear, yo sé que bear significa oso, Pero también es un verbo que significa pues, soportar. Okay? I can't bear, I can't tolerate. Y en este caso, here we have some, um, eh, there are some patterns in this type of verb. Tenemos patrones en este tipo de verbo. Por ejemplo, tolerate, tenemos create. No son similares, solo es la, la pronunciación. Quiero ver. Cooperate. Entonces, el punto acá es que tenemos aquí ate, ate, ate. Ok. That's the ending. Ese es el sufijo. Tolerate, create, cooperate. ¿Verdad? Entonces, este tipo de, de palabras, that kind of words sounds like this because it is a pattern. Es un patrón. And it, it uh, repeats. Every time in this kind of letter. Entonces se da cuenta como les he comentado que ese tipo de, de, de letras hace que, que los verbos suenen con el, la misma pronunciación al final, ¿verdad? Es que como yo siempre les he dicho, el, hay patrones en la escritura. Ok, so to start, to start we're going to uh, select one of these. Vamos a seleccionar cualquiera de estos. Por ejemplo, I can't bear, no digan beer, 
I can't bear, I can't tolerate, I detest, detest. It annoys me, it annoys me. I can't stand, ok. Y con, después de elegir cualquiera de esos, pueden elegir cualquiera de estas, por ejemplo, de estas palabras. Noisy neighbors, que significa vecinos ruidosos. Por ejemplo, I detest noisy neighbors. Or I can't stand loud music. Por ejemplo, hay gente que no soporta o que odia los vecinos ruidosos. That's something that's very common in Salvador, and especially in the uh, urban area. Okay, in las zonas urbanas. Because your the neighbors are so close, and sometimes there is a tiny wall that separates. A veces hay una pared bien delgada que separa a los vecinos. So you can hear shouts, eh, gritos. Eh, you can hear a lot of things, okay? Loud music is música con volumen alto, okay? Eh, trash on street is la basura en la calle. Gossip es el chambre, chisme. En gossipers, chambrosos o chismosos. Okay, if you say, I can't bear gossip, or um, gossipers annoys me, or it annoys me, the gossipers. O sea, que a ustedes les molesta la gente chismosa. People smoking, nasty words is, uh, or nasty vocabulary, son como malas palabras que nosotros decimos. Shouts, gritos, lies, mentiras, unpunctuality, unpunctuality, impuntualidad screams, gritos, y así sucesivamente. So you select one of these um, words, phrases, I'm sorry, one of these phrases, and you have to add one of these words or phrases. También, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a combinar cualquiera de esas frases con cualquiera de, de las palabras de abajo. And I'm going to check the attendance list so you can say hi, hello, good evening. And then you say the phrase, después dicen la frase, okay? We start with Elizabeth. Good evening, Elizabeth. Good evening, teacher. Hello, okay, what's your phrase? I can't stand loud music. Okay, thank you. What about Flor? Hello. Present teacher. Thank you. I can tolerate loud music. Okay, nice. Francisco, okay, Frank. What about you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I detest uh, gossip. Oh, yes. <clears throat> of course, it is. Um, Gabriel, hello. Good Are evening. Good evening. Yes, I detest people smoking. Okay, nice. What about well, Helen? I guess uh, she's moving. It is Ceci. Okay, Ceci. Uh. Hola, teacher. Hello there. Okay, come to her too. Um, I detest no, neighbors and people gossip. Mm -hmm. a, a really strange combination, but that's common. Nasty neighbor. We have like difficult neighbors everywhere. In cualquier lugar se encuentra con un vecino complicado. Okay, so well. Creo que todo nos ha pasado. We have experienced that people invent, uh, I don't know, uh, situations, things about us. And even we can say, we say, we greet them. Los saludamos. Good morning, good afternoon. And even they speak. But anyway, <coughs> yes, that usually happens. And well, Jimmy, I don't think Jimmy's here. Juan, good evening. Okay. And here we go, Judith. Okay, te escucho lejísimo, super lejos, se me aquí a Guatemala. Okay. okay, hello there. No. ¿Ahora me escucha? Yes. Okay, I can bear trash on the street. Mm -hmm. That's really nasty, muy sucio. And you, you look like if you have a, a new look, a new hairstyle, te cortaste cabello. No. No le escucha muy bien. Sí, sí, te había cortado el cabello. No, no, look, no estilo. Ah, no, no. Okay, <laughs> mm, okay. No problem. Ivan is moving. 
Carly, hello there. Hello, teacher. Hello. I can bear and people are smoking. Okay, nice. That's another point. Good. And let's see. We go now with Kathy is moving. David, I don't know if David is there. Marvin, not here. Nelson, I don't know if Nelson is. No, not connected. Okay. What about Patty? Is it any? No. Okay. And Roberto. Present teacher. Hello. I do. I do this. Live. Yes, live. Las mentiras. Okay, good. Christy, good evening, Christy. Good evening, teacher. Okay, what's your phrase? Tengo que decir una frase de esa. Mm -hmm. ¿Escuchaste las indicaciones? Mm, no, honestamente no. Okay, una de esas frases y una de estas palabras también o frases. Ah, okay. Así como lo han hecho tus compañeros. Okay. Um, I, I can, I can no tolerate um, music, low music. Okay, thank you. William, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Este, I don't test on puntuality. Okay, on puntuality. That. That's really common sometimes. Thank you. Hey, Jocelyn. Are you there, Jocelyn? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I can stand trust on the street. Okay, trust on the street. And something that is really common is when you are on the bus or in the coaster and people throw garbage through the window. And that's really nasty. Yes. Well, I hope someday people can be like more educated okay do you think that natural medicine is effective Funciona. okay yes no why okay so in this case i would like to hear some of the opinions what if we start with um iris are you ready to give your opinion yes teacher okay mm -hmm. In, in some cases, not so serious, I think, yes. For example, for complaints, meal, stomach, and stomach and others. Natural okay. infusions have worked very well for me. Okay, yes, and that's when you have like not extreme or dangerous illnesses, no enfermedades tan peligrosas, right? Something mm -hmm. that maybe you can have a treatment with un tratamiento, like it works, funciona. Thank you. Yes. Okay, good point. We go now with um, Jocelyn and then Judith. Okay, opinion of natural medicine. Is a medical medical science is health relief or pain or health problems very quickly. And one of the advantages is that by consuming 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 consume um consume it okay and natural medicinal we prevent our kidney for pain. Cement. Okay, we can prevent a lot of things. And something good that it doesn't have chemicals, not any chemicals, it's natural. So everything should be all right. Okay, Judith, and then we go with Frank. In my opinion, yes, because being natural, it has greater health benefits in addition to having no side effects. Mm, good, good word. Here we have, I'm going to write here, side effects, some effects secundaries, okay? It's, it doesn't have side effects because it's natural, okay? So that, that's another good point, thank you. We go now with Frank and then 
Elizabeth. Okay, teacher. Uh, I if effective natural medicine, come on. Besides, example, los gripe, ¿cómo se dice? Flu. Flu. Mm -hmm. Flu. Solamente. Okay, yes. That's very common natural medicine. Even I have taken natural medicine for the flu or for some, some other like illnesses. Okay, that's correct. Uh, Frank, oh, we go now with Elizabeth and then Juan. Okay, for milk case, I consider that it, they are effective. In addition, because it is natural, it's not, it does not contain preservatives or chemicals. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, so the chemicals are not included in this. In comparison, we have pills, la pastillas, we have pills, we have some other type of medicine that it has chemicals, que sí tiene, verdad, chemicals, and that's something that can affect our body. Thank you, it is very nice. Okay, Juan, you go and then we go with Flo. Hi, teacher. Hi. Lo voy a hacer ahorita porque casi que no estoy al 100. Okay. Um, in my opinion, the natural medicine is effective and it is better than pharmaceutic, pharmaceutica, como se dice? Medicina pharmaceutics, pharmaceutics. Pharmaceutics. Pharmaceutics medicine. Mm -hmm. that's, that's true. And sometimes we sell a diagnostic ourselves. A ver, nos no, autodiagnosticamos, nosotros nos no damos medicina. Imagine a lot of chemicals in our body. So that's something that is really common. Okay, here we have uh, Iris. Yeah. Yes? You have an opinion, Iris? I have a question. Okay. Bueno, ya que veo chemicals, <laughs> un poco random la pregunta. No sé si he escuchado la canción eh, Chemicals de... Don Diablo y Tiesto. Nunca entendí la letra. No sé ok, por... that's really <laughs> random. Ok, I don't sí. know. Chemicals, eh, hay un grupo que se llama Chemical Romance o algo así, no sé si sí, 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 creo. creo no, sí, sí se llama Chemicals. But the, the song Chemicals and Demons. ¿O cómo? No, solo Chemicals. Ah, uh, ok, from Tiesto. It's a DJ, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now the way I will tell them it has to be curious. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so I can tell you, go, but thank you. Thank you for saying. No. Puede dedicar, ok, ya lo sabes. No, no. Es que sí la escuchaba y me gustó, pero siento que no tiene sentido la letra. For me, there, is, there are some phrases, algunas frases que hacen alusión a algo. Una razón. Bueno, bueno, no te vienes a comer. Ah, ya. Vale, está regañando. Bueno, bueno. Ok, nice it is. I'm going to look for it. La voy a, la voy a buscar. Okay, let's go with Flor. Hi, teacher. Hello there. Uh, personally, think so because since the time of the countries, people have healthy thermal salves, wind gerbs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ok, herbs, la, las hierbas, ¿verdad? Pero las hierbas Herb. curativas, no la otra. Yes, so that's really useful, that's really useful because there are some pains, hay algunos dolores, even, that can improve. For example, for example, imagine if you have muscular pain, si tienes dolor muscular, you can have, for example, but I mean, for a hit, por un golpe, you can yeah. use Agua con orégano. Si or I don't know what is it. So Agua tibia plants. con lienzo de orégano. Mm -hmm. Buenísimo. And that works. Incluso so. para la sinusitis en la, en la frente. Uh -huh. Buenísimo. Yes, that's something yeah. that is natural, okay? And it doesn't cost a lot of money. No cuesta mucho dinero. So that's really practical, okay? Yes. That's it. Bueno, cualquier cosa ahí le preguntan a Flor, le va a hacer ahí las recetas médicas. Thank you, Flor. Really nice. Y nos va a dar otras 
claves ahí para que mejoremos. Okay, we continue. You already have this picture and I guess you all understand this uh, affirmative, negative and questions sentences. Even the WH questions and that's, tenemos estas, las WH que eran estas, okay? Que ya las estoy moviendo día de ayer. Yesterday we were studying this. But we're going to continue now. And also here we have uh, these verbs, okay? That now we understand better. Stay, staying, plan, planning, make, making. Entonces debemos de acostumbrarnos a que a veces hay una E. Normalmente es la de las pocas vocales. Sí, creo que es la única vocal. Al final de los verbos se elimina y se le agrega solo ING. Por ejemplo, aquí, live, live, okay? Arrive, arrive and both voting. So we're going to uh, complete some uh, this exercise that is quick. And this is a uh, closed uh, questions, preguntas cerradas, bastante fácil. What we're going to do is that um, we're going to add verb cualquier verb to be, que ustedes consideren acá, and in this, we're going to use the verb in parentheses, okay? Easy. Here, okay? Here. And this part, verb B, okay? So we're going to start this exercise first with Carly and then Roberto. Okay, Carly, select a number. Number two? Okay. Is she... Having, yeah, having a cup, a cup of tea. A cup of tea, yes. Is she having, having a cup of tea. Thank you. Really nice. Now let's listen to Roberto, and then we go with Joseph. Number one. Okay. Is Richard working in the garden? Okay. Working. In the garden. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the garden. That's it. Okay. It's Richard working in the garden. Thank you. Okay, Jocelyn, and then we go with Judith. Okay, number eight. Okay, eight. Is the beer to drink in water? By el two, no se lo vamos a poner. So, ah, okay. pero birds is plural. Uh -huh. ah, but are the birds. Yes, are the birds drinking? Yes, are the birds drinking water? Thank you. We go with Judith and then we go with Gabriel. Seven. Six, seven. Is your mother to making sandwiches? Making. Todos los two se los vamos a eliminar, ¿ok? No vamos a utilizar ningún two. Porque es en infinitivo, ¿ok? Thank you. We go with Gabriel. And after Gabriel, we go with Francisco. Number four. Oh. Okay. Is you four. is you cooking the kitchen, Tom? Okay. Ya vamos a ver acá. Number four. Bien. Con you no utilizamos is. Utilizamos are. Como you are. Okay. Eh, número cuatro dijiste. Sí. Okay, Before. are you cleaning? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Cleaning, porque aquí está el verbo, el que vamos a utilizar. Se podría ah, cooking. Ah, okay. Sí. Ajá, se, mm -hmm. se podría cooking si lo vamos a inventar, ¿verdad? Pero como ya estaba ahí, no hay problem. Okay, okay. Uh, we go Thanks. with... Okay, nice. ¿Quién, ¿Quién me sigue? Creo que... Elizabeth, no. Okay. If not, let's go with Iris. Okay, Iris.
number 10. Okay. Are they eating pizza? Yes. Are they eating pizza? Frank, ah, cojera, Frank, ya me acordé. ¿Estás oyendo? Oh, sí, no, pues yo le di la oportunidad a Iris. ¿Estás oyendo de la justicia? Ok. No, no, no. <risa> ok, le no, pero... Lo siento. No problem. No, ya, ya Iris ya salió de, <risa> del compromiso. No problem. Ok, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3. Go. Are the children doing? Very nice. Are, ¿verdad? Porque children significa niños. Child significa un niño. Thank you. Good. And now let's listen in this case to Christy and then William. Okay, Christy, are you ready? Six. Um, five. 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 Okay. Five. Yes. Um, is the cat, um, uh, pardon, is the cat sleeping? Sleeping, but, sleeping. Eh, el tú no se lo vamos a, a usar, ok? No lo vamos a usar, solo is the cat sleeping. Ok, let's listen now okay. to William. And then Elizabeth. Is Carmen wearing number a, nine? Okay, number nine. Uh, is nice. Carmen? Is Carmen wearing? Yes, a pullover. Pullover. Yes, thank you. Okay, and then we finish with Elizabeth, number six. Thank you. Bueno, <laughs> es la última. No, no puedo elegir. Se la vida. <laughs> Our clip, clip. Yes. And Oliver, meeting friends. Yeah, good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Our Cliff and Oliver, meeting friends. Okay, perfect. Easy peasy, right? We didn't have uh, too much problems with this. Okay, let's move to this exercise. Just give me a second. Okay, here we have how to use present continuous with WH questions, cosa que vimos ayer. The structure word, además del verbo to be, the sujeto, el verbo ing, y el complemento. For this, here we have these uh, WH questions, ¿verdad? Que ya las conocemos más que bien. What, when, where, why, which, who, how. Okay, how. Examples, let's listen to this. Carly, please. Uh, the number one, and then Frank, number two. Why is he meeting the new people today? Ajá, preguntan eso entonces, y la I se contesta because, y dan una razón. Okay, Frank, number two, and then it is number three. When is the new office launching? Launching, cuando es el nuevo lanzamiento de la oficina? It, it is launching on, el lanzamiento es, y ahí dan. Okay, la respuesta. And it is number three. Where? Number three. What is your boss having the annual meeting? Okay. In Sheraton, in, I don't know, everywhere. Okay, thank you. Now, fill in the blanks using the words in parentheses. We're going to uh, make questions. Number one says, what company are, aquí está, you work, el verbo to be, hay que agregárselo. What company are you working for? Para qué compañía trabajas? Okay, so in this case, we're going to listen to Roberto and then we go with Gabriel. Roberto, are you ready? 
two, three, four, or five. Depends on you. Two, number two. Okay, let's complete it. Who is he dividing the group? Uh, dividing. Uh, how? Bien raro este verbo, ¿verdad? Es divide. Ajá. Eh, otro ejemplo de este tipo de verbo es así. Divide y el otro es provide. Terminen en vive. Vive. Entonces, divide, provide. Mm -hmm. So, the, those are verbs that are kind of similar at the end. And in sound, el sonido del final. Okay, uh, here we have Gabriel, and then Patty. Okay, Gabriel? One yes, number. Uh, number three. Go, number three. When? When she handing. Falta el verbo to be. When? Is she? Yes. When is she handing? Mm -hmm. Handing. Yes. Bien. Ok. Quiero comentarles algo. Hand in significa entregar. Hand in es entregar. Ok. So, when is she handing? ¿Puedo decir handing o solo hand? When is she handing the checks? ¿Cuándo va a entregar los checks? Mm, yes. Well, people want the checks quickly. Ok. And let's continue with, uh, continue, seguimos con Patti. Ok, Patti. Okay. Uh, number four. Which factory are you was visiting this month? Vaya. Si tenemos you, va, are. Pero estamos hablando de tu jefe, o sea, he, o sea, él. Ah, ok. Which factory? Which factory? Yes. El R por él. Yes. Yes. Is your boss visiting? Okay. Uh, which factory is your boss visiting this month? Thank you. And to finish this, we're going to have, in this case, to William. Help me with number five, please, William. Can you? Why? Why is the is the new secretary for the next Saturday? Okay, really good. So un poquito más extenso. Why is the new secretary working the next Saturday? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Really nice. Can you see it is not so difficult? So what uh, something important is that we have to take into account the only tomar en cuenta. La palabra con WH. Okay, this. And then it's common the verb be, subject, verb, verb ing, complement. Okay, so in this case, uh, you have this. Think of some future events of your classmates. Write five questions to ask your classmates about those events. Bien, entonces vamos a hacer eso. Van a estar en parejas y alguien le va a decir eso. Por ejemplo, I am, um, am having dinner in a restaurant. I am having dinner in a restaurant. ¿Qué significa? Ah, voy a tener, voy a cenar en un restaurante. La pregunta sería, where are you having dinner? Entonces, bueno, sería prácticamente al revés. Ahí sí. I am having dinner, por ejemplo. Entonces, en este caso, tenemos las preguntas. Where are you having dinner? I am having dinner 
¿verdad? Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a anotar, por ejemplo, tres oraciones del, del compañero, ¿verdad? Anotamos las oraciones. One, two, three. Y luego vamos a formular una pregunta. Vamos a hacer otra. Por ejemplo, I am working on Sunday. Voy a trabajar el domingo. La pregunta podría ser, why are you working on Sunday? Fíjense bien, ¿verdad? Entonces, ellos les van a decir, eh, pues, la oración y ustedes la van a transformar como en pregunta. Alguien le dice, por ejemplo, Carly, con lágrimas en los ojos, I am working on Sunday, trabajar el domingo. Y nosotros, why are you working on Sunday? ¿Verdad? Entonces, de la oración que les diga, from the sentence, you have to create a question. Van a crear una pregunta relacionada a eso. La pregunta no la tienen que contestar. Solo se trata de eh, hacer preguntas de las oraciones. ¿Ok? Yes, eh, it is. Tell us. Teacher, perdón. Mm -hmm. um... Me surge la interrogante. Uh -huh. Como vimos anteriormente el tema de la WH questions, pero en presente simple. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo voy a saber cuándo utilizar el presente continuo para la oración o el presente simple? Eh, depende, en este caso, de lo que te diga. Porque aquí están utilizando el ING. Como están utilizando el ING, tú lo utilizas. Ahora, en este caso son... Eh, eventos, futuros eventos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, para los futuros eh, eventos a futuro que ya dentro de poco van a pasar, utilizamos el present continuous. El presente simple solo lo utilizamos para decir cosas que generalmente pasan. Por ejemplo, mm, eh, los lunes eh, hago reportes. Los viernes tengo reunión. No, no dices, voy a tener reunión en viernes. Eso ya es, eh, es continuous. I am having meeting on Friday. En, en lugar de decir, I have meeting every Friday. Uh -huh. ¿Sí me van a entender? Mm, ok. Es un futuro cercano, no digo, ¿verdad? Sí, este es para ¿verdad? future events, un evento futuro. Por eso ustedes pueden decir, mm, voy a cenar, voy a trabajar el domingo, voy a ir a la playa, okay. voy a visitar a un amigo. Entonces la pregunta en lugar de lo seguro, la pregunta sería ¿cuándo vas a visitar a tu amigo? Okay. I am visiting a friend. When are you visiting a friend? Mm, ok. Ok. Ok, my friends. Preparen sus tres oraciones porque las van a compartir en su compañero. Va a crear una pregunta de esas. Ok. Just give me a second. Denme un segundo mientras los comienzo a ordenar. Okay. See you in a moment.
Catherine. Hello. I need you to accept the request. One. Same. I need you to accept the request. Necesito que acepten la solicitud para los grupos. Thank you. Very nice. Perfect.
Okay, my friends, we're going to check the sentences that you have uh, taken. Let's listen to, okay, Carly, what about you? Are you ready? I need you to give me the sentence that your classmate told you, ¿verdad? Me van a dar la oración que te dio el compañero y luego me haces la pregunta que tú le formulaste. Ok, Carly. Ok, teacher. The sentence. The, uh, the sentence is I am visiting my family in San Miguel next month. Ok. What is the question? Uh, with whom are you visiting your family in San Miguel? Yeah, that gets a pregunta, but yes, with whom that's okay, nice. Con quien vas a ir? Se va a ir a presentar a la pareja. Okay, nice. Thank you. Okay, nice. Let's listen to Judith. And then we go with Jocelyn. Primero la oración y luego la pregunta que se va a formular. Okay. La oración, mi oración o la no, de mi no. compañera. Compañera, yeah. The sentence is. Okay, Judith. La, la oración de Cristina. I am writing the report. Okay, question. When are you writing the report? Okay, perfect, very nice, thank you. We we'll go with Jocelyn and then Flor. Okay, Jocelyn, the sentence first, and then the question. Remember, is the sentence of your classmates, que es la oración de su compañero. If Jocelyn is not ready, let's go with Flor. Okay, Flor, are you ready? Ready. Thank you, okay. Uh, Tell us your, the sentence of your classmate, and then the question. Uh, Okay, eh, era Elizabeth y mm -hmm. I am going on, sat on Saturday. Okay. When are you working on Saturday? Perfect, very nice, thank you. Okay, let's listen to Francisco and then Christy. Okay, Francisco, tell us the sentence of your, your classmates. Okay. Gabriel. Okay. Uh, Gabriel going the more Wednesday. What is the question? Uh -huh. uh, what day are you going to the mall? Okay, thank you. Let's listen to Christy and then we go with Iris. Okay. What day are you going to cook with your mom? I am going to cook chicken with me. Okay, thank you. Good. It is, and then we go with um, Juan. Are you ready, teacher? Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Perdón. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear. You. Okay. The sentence is, um, "I'm driving on Friday." Okay, very good. What is the question? The question is, where are you driving on Friday? Mm -hmm. Good one. Uh, perfect. What about Juan? Are you ready with your sentence and question? Eh, la del compañero. Yes, sí, la del compañero. Mm -hmm. La respuesta de él. No, sí, la oración de él y luego la pregunta que tú formulaste. Yo le puse, por ejemplo, ella dijo, I am drinking coffee. Ok, I'm drinking coffee. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The question okay. is... Patty, where do you drink coffee? Uh, no. no. Ok, where do you es presente y estamos hablando de continuo. Entonces, por ejemplo, where are you drinking coffee? Estamos utilizando ING. ¿Cómo? Where? Where are you drinking coffee? Oh, ejemplo, okay. Ella dijo, I am drinking. Entonces, mm -hmm. tiene que utilizar con ING. Ok, are you drinking? Perfecto. Ok, let's listen now to what is uh, Patty and Gabriel. Ok, Patty. Sí, ya. Yeah. Please. Este, um, I am reading Maria on the beach. 
Okay. And the question, where do you want to greet in Maria? Mm -mm, no, porque está diciendo, where do you? Es una pregunta en presente. Where are you, por ejemplo, okay? El where do, el do no lo estamos utilizando acá. Okay, okay. where are you? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's listen to Gabriel and then Roberto. Okay. Uh, I am going to the world in the bike. Okay, and the question? Uh, how do you get to work? Mm, igual. Uh, sería, how are you going to work? Es que cuando dicen, how do you, what do you, estamos utilizando presente. Y aquí estamos utilizando el present continuous, ¿ok? Where are you or how are you? Ok, okay. Eh, ya vamos a ver las diferencias. Eh, Roberto. Mire, yo ando más perdido que Adán en el Día de las Madres, pero... Intentemos. Lo hice bien. La cosa intenta. <risa> ok, eh, la respuesta fue, I am running in the park. Good. Y la, y la pregunta, eh, where is he running? Sí, así es. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Sí, así es. I am running in the park. Uh -huh. In the park. Yes. Y la pregunta es, where are you running? Where, where is he running? Is. Vaya, eso está perfecto. ¿Verdad? Eh, acuérdense que estamos utilizando el ING, ¿verdad? Y el verbo to be debería ir. Uh -huh. Ok, so that's it. No decimos where does he run o where do you run. Es where is, where are you. Ok, so that's it. Ya vamos a ver más ejemplos para que no nos quede ninguna duda. Now, let's continue with this question. Uh, do you think natural medicine is effective? Vamos a ver si ustedes creen que es efectiva esta. So in this case, we're going to listen to um, Carly. And then we go with um, William. Okay, Carly. Okay, teacher. Uh, uh, I think I think so because in the past when science had not advanced, people used uh, the research that nature nature has to cure. They diseases and living longer than now. Mm, they live longer, being más tiempo. Okay, yes. Uh, live longer, uh, vivir más tiempo. Yes. And in the past, there were no pills, no había pastilla, there were not injections even. So they used just plants, just natural medicine. And that worked. Y eso funcionaba. Thank you very much. We we'll go with now with William and then Ivania. Okay. Hello, uh, hola, teacher. Okay, are you ready? No, teacher. Okay, you need time, no problem. Okay, Ivania, are you okay? And then we go with Tati. Yes, teacher. Okay, please, Ivania. Um, okay, and sometimes they are very effective. Even the doctor recommends Mm -hmm. If the bad thing is not taking pre precaution and um, not in this investigation, size effect secondary. Good. Secondary. Yes, very nice. Something that may be negative, as Ivania said, or Ivania mentioned, is that there are not many investigations for the doses. I don't know if it's a certain dose and all that. So you can have side effects, maybe, maybe, if you take too much of this medicine. Thank you, Ivania. Very nice. Let's listen now to Roberto and then Christy. Okay, Roberto. Please. Okay. Yes. Because natural medicine does not have as many chemicals as the one we buy in pharmacy. Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Pharmacy. What is pharmacy? Pharmacy, yes. Okay, yes, that's a good point. And even pharmacy have labs in laboratories, laboratories, and they have scientists, so that's why they have investigated a lot. 
Thank you. Very nice. We go with Christy and then Gabriel. Okay, okay. Christy, what's your opinion about this? Uh, natural and um, traditional medicine. A comfortable. Aquí se dice comfortable. Comforte. Uh, comfortable. 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 Para lo voy a empezar. Natural. Um, natural and um, traditional medicine is uh, a comfortable and um, cheap method that not require large results for its application of the tra treatment, 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 treatment of the treatment and the consumption of medicine is reduced. To a minimum five feet. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Thank you for your opinion. Good. Let's listen to Gabriel and we're going to finish this activity. Okay, Gabriel. What about my you? My opinion, my opinion is no. No. Okay. Because it doesn't work like scientific medicine. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. But some people find the then helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Yes, yeah, there, there are no investigations about these scientific uh, investigations, so that's true. But there are some people, as you mentioned, that yes, it works for them. Okay, now we're going to have a listening part. I need you to pay attention and be ready with your pen or pencil, okay? And you're going to write the words that you can identify. Just give me a minute. I'm going to prepare the the audio okay so be ready okay i'm going to play two times Safe environment. A green and clean atmosphere is important to live a peaceful and healthy life. We must stop and avoid using poly and plastic bags and prefer eco-friendly items to save the atmosphere. We can easily save our environment for the next generation in several ways by accepting and adopting a simple lifestyle. The more digital technology will save more papers that are made from natural resources like wood. Okay, let's listen one more time. Safe environment. A green and clean atmosphere is important to live a peaceful and healthy life. We must stop and avoid using poly and plastic bags and prefer eco-friendly items to save the atmosphere. We can easily save our environment for the next generation in several ways by accepting and adopting a simple lifestyle. The more digital technology will save more papers that are made from natural resources like wood. Okay, uh, let's listen to some of the words that you could identify you can mention one or two words depends on you okay let's listen to floor and then carly okay you can it can be one two words or phrases okay floor what do you have um, you can help live medicine technology new practice oh nice um, Okay. okay, very nice. No recuerdo si había medicine. Ya voy a ver si no me están mintiendo. But the rest, it's okay. El resto todo muy bien. Thank you. Okay, let's listen to Carly. And then we go with, oh, with Iris. Okay, Carly. Okay, this digital technology and lifestyle. Oh, good lifestyle, very important word. Iris and Jocelyn. 
Pero bueno, solo logra entender healthy life, eco-friendly technology. Very nice, good. Ok, Jocelyn en Francisco. Ok, eco-friendly technology, medicinal, natural, important, pharmacy, difficult, me parece que escuché. Ok, very nice, thank you. Good, let's listen to Frank and then Robert. Okay, mm, and the boys reality, uh, digital technology. Good, very good. Okay, Roberto. Uh, important, listen, high school, digital technology tonight. Okay, very nice. Something important is that you can identify some words and then you can have an idea about what is the audio about, ¿verdad? Si tenemos una idea de algunas palabras, ya vamos a hacer una noción de qué trata. Eco-friendly, digital technology, eh, healthy life, um, environment. Entonces estamos hablando del ambiente, de lo que puede ser saludable, de las tecnologías. Okay, so let's, I'm going to present uh, this paragraph so you can identify and you can compare, pueden comparar. You can compare the audio in this uh, paragraph. I'm going to play it one more time. Safe environment. A green and clean atmosphere is important to live a peaceful and healthy life. We must stop and avoid using poly and plastic bags and prefer eco-friendly items to save the atmosphere. We can easily save our environment for the next generation in several ways by accepting and adopting a simple lifestyle. Promote digital technology will save more papers that are made from natural resources like wood. Okay, something that I want to mention in this case is the last part. Promote digital technology will save more papers that are made from natural resources like wood. Si se dan cuenta, if you notice, nowadays we don't use too much paper. We use a lot of technology. For example, before, well, in the past, there, there were a lot of reports in physics. I mean, in, in paper. Había muchos reportes, informes y documentos en físico. Nowadays, we use digital PDF or mails, utilizamos PDF, lo enviamos por correo, so you can notice the difference in the reviews of paper. That's really positive for the environment because it is not uh, cutting too many trees. No se está cortando, no se está tardando tantos árboles como en el pasado because now we have different forms. Okay, how to use this? Um, let's see. Here we have a conversation between Rita and Luis. Okay, in this case, it says, let me see. It says, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year. And where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, uh, I'm going to select some phrases, for example, Bien, cuando decimos this is Rita o this is Rita, de esta manera nosotros decimos mm, soy Rita. Si deja, digamos que ustedes, eh, Francisco está hablando por teléfono. Hey, this is Frank. Hola, soy Frank. O no decimos este es Frank, sino que es como this is Frank speaking. ¿Verdad? Soy Frank o te habla Frank. ¿Verdad? Entonces cuando Rita está hablando y dice Luis, buenas tardes. Soy Rita, ok. Pueden decir, I am Rita, I am Frank, I am Judith, pero normalmente lo más, una frase americana es, this is. And let's see. 
the annual conference this year taking place. IT es el equipo, no es IT el payaso, sino que es IT es el equipo de tecnología. Taking place es cuando toma lugar alguna reunión. By the way, pueden anotar esta, esta frase si quieren. By the way significa por cierto. By the way, by the way, que de hecho es el nombre de un álbum de los Red Hot Chili Peppers, si no me equivoco. So you can use this phrase when you explain something and you said, by the way, pueden estar hablando, dando su opinión, por cierto, y mencionan otro dato. Okay? Porque aquí le estaban hablando de, de ciertas cosas, pero le dice, por cierto, cuando están llegando, cuando llegan los materiales, uh -huh. ¿sabes? Got it. Es como decir Gary, el caracolito de, 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 de Bob Esponja, pero con T al final. Gary, Gary. Okay. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, this is Rita. En lugar de los nombres de Rita and Luis, I need you to use your own names. Necesito que utilicen sus propios nombres, okay? So you can uh, use your name, for example, Carly and Jocelyn, of course. Lo puede decir, uh, Jocelyn, good afternoon. This is Carly. Okay. So, así que le cambian los nombres, ¿ok? And maybe Jocelyn can help me or anyone else. A ver quién me ayuda con la captura de esa. Porque hay algunos que tienen el manual, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Pero también es bueno enviar la captura para que tengamos como una guía de cómo pues, eh, practicar to practice this conversation. Solo nos quedan 30 minutos de clase, así que un par de minutos para acá. Um, si no puede, Jocelyn, maybe we can have the help of, tal vez me ayuda, um, Elizabeth. Si no, Judith. I'm going to wait a little bit. Thank you, Jocelyn, very nice. Como que está en el cine, so. Okay, really. Good. We're going to practice a little bit. Practicamos un poco y regresamos en un momento. See you in a moment. Okay, I need you to accept the request next to can be accepting as the store. Good, thank you.
Okay, what if we listen to Frank? Okay, Frank, who was your classmate? Yes. Okay, ¿quién fue tu compañero? O compañero. Eh, Gabriel. Okay, Gabriel, are you here? Okay. Ya intercambiaron nombres, ¿verdad? Y todo eso, así que, okay, let's listen. Sí, sí. Please, okay. let's do it. Francisco, good afternoon. This is, is Gabriel, the new secretary, the new Bye. secretary. Good. Where is it? It's the same. The secretary is, is for men and for women. No problem. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I Francisco, just want to confirm some information. Hey, Gabriel. Sure. Tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the AID staff attending and the conference is taking place in the red room. Gabriel, by the way, where are the material arriving? Do you know? Got it, yes. There are, they are arriving on Friday morning. Perfect, really good, thank you. Now let's listen in this time to Judith, okay? Can you help us, Judith? Francisco and Gabriel did it really good. Now it's your turn, Judith okay. and company. Okay, Cristina. Okay, Christina. Good afternoon. No sé si está escuchando. <laughs> Hola, voy a empezar. Cristina, good afternoon. This is Judith, the new secretary. I just want to confer some information. Hey, Judith, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in Real Room. Uh, Judith, by the way, when are the next materials arriving? Arriving? Do you know? Got it, yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, very nice. Arriving. Es el único detalle. Arriving. Uh, Yes, but you did it good. Thank you. Okay, now that we have this uh, conversation, here we have some questions, okay? So, complete the questions using the conversation above to help yourself. Hay palabras que vamos a agregar para completar esto, okay? So, in this case, maybe we can have the help of Ivania. Com uh, question one, two, or three. Okay, Ivania, if she's not there. Sorry. Um, oh. One. Uh -huh. One, two, or three. Um, um, one. Um. Okay. One. Are the materials arriving? Vamos a ver acá. ¿Qué palabra les falta? Uh, the materials when, arriving. When. Yes, aquí está. When. Mm -hmm. When are the materials arriving? Thank you. Now let's listen in this time to Roberto. Okay, Roberto, two or three? Uh, at, uh, number two. Number two is attending the conference. Okay, ¿qué palabra les falta? What the word is missing? Who? Who? Excellent. Who is attending the conference? Thank you. And Carly, number three, is the meeting taking place? What word is missing there? Where? Number three. It's number three. Mm -hmm. Is the meeting taking place? Mm -mm -mm. Where? Mm -mm. When? 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 No, no, no. No. 
taking place. Taking place. Where? Where, yes. Where, where le había dicho, teacher? No, when me dijiste. No. Tarde, ajá. Me la quieren hacer. Quieren hacer la mexicana. Ok, no hay problema. <ríe> ya le había dicho. Y no... Dice, ¿Cuál es la respuesta de la primera? Ajá, where, when. Ajá, ya ven. Ajá. Carly, me no, yo le dije mexicana. where, teacher. When, te escuché yo, when. Yeah, ok. Está bien, Carly. Te perdono. Te perdono los pecados. Ok. Y vos sos la primera que me vas a contestar esta pregunta. Carly, from your opinion, when do you become an adult? Cuando nos convertimos en adultos. Ok, puede seguir Frank, porque Frank creo que ya sabe bastante sobre eso. Ok, so, eh, Carly, tell us, what, what do you think about this? Ok, I think that we become adults when we come of age because then the decision we make are our sole responsibility, even though we continue to depend on our parents, but we have the power to decide about our life. Yes, definitely. We have the power to decide about our life. Even we have the help of our fathers. Thank you, Carly. Good, good ideas. Uh, Francisco, and then we go with Judy. Uh, teacher, uh, I feel I didn't know on the side. It, no entendí la, okay. la pregunta. No problem, no, te va a chance, algo se te va a ocurrir. Cuando te conviertes en un adulto. Ok. Ajá. Ok. Te va a dar tiempo. Relax. Viene allí okay. con todos los powers. Ok. Hasta el lunes. No. Este no. No. Viene de clase. El, el último va a ser este, Francisco. ¿eh? Ok. Está haciendo la, la Mexica. Ok. Let's listen to Roberto. Ok, teacher. You become an adult when you start to have your responsibility and have to solve your own problem. Good, good examples. Yes, when you solve your own problems, también solventar los problemas, that's really important. Responsibilities and problems. Definitely it is. I agree with you, Roberto. Nice. Let's listen now to um, Judith and Christy. Okay, Judith. Creo que ahorita tiene, se me enredaron los cables de los audífonos. Hola. Hola, Judith. Está bailando, ok. No. Okay. Let's see. What do you think about this? Uh, there are different areas. Es, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Areas. 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 In which it is considered to be an adult. For example, according to the civil code, it is at 18 years old. Mm -hmm. According to psychology, at the moment of having critical thinking. And according to society, according to behavior, yeah. comportamiento. Yes, behavior. Okay. Good. Three points. When you get 18 years old, no, 18, 18, good. Good. Uh, when you have critical thinking, right? That's something uh, also important. Okay. Good. Thank you, Judith. And let's listen now to if we are ready with Ivania and then Flor. Okay, uh, we are adults when our life is worn, payment, and many responsibilities. 
Okay, we receive money. That's another good point. Christy, se me quedado. Okay, Christy. You go, Christy, and then we go with Flor. Okay, Christy. Uh, okay. Sorry. We become, become adults not win that as a time I think it is good when we put our own identity to have self-control in free activity, independence, independence, independence. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Independence. Independence. We make our house autonomous and responsible responsible decisions decisions we develop our own value system and we are able to establish okay okay thank you very nice we go now with Lord and Jasmine in adolescence See physically and emotionally when we begin to experience life. Nice. Physically and emotionally. Interesting words. Thank you. Uh, we go with Jocelyn and then Iris. Okay, teacher. So, una consulta es que no sé si entendí mal la pregunta, pero yo entendí que más o menos nos pregunta de cuándo nos hicimos adultos, algo así. Sí, sí, cuándo. Uh -huh. Sí. Ah, ok, yo cuando nos dimos cuenta, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. I uh, became an adult at the time of becoming independent because I had to pay for food, house, and many other things. But the first thing is when you have to make your own decision that can affect or improve you in the future. Yes, Jocelyn, that's correct. When you pay for your food, for your house and all those things, those are responsibilities in good examples. Okay, it is, are you ready? Yes, Okay, please. the adult stage when we begin to accept our own responsibilities when we make decisions independently and, we, and when we are taking financial independence seriously yes financial mm -hmm. yes I okay continue <laughs> yes I thought these are only some characteristics of adulthood. Okay, there are some characteristics, okay? And that's it, good financial economy and taking decisions, y tomar decisiones. Thank you. Good, it is. Okay, now okay. let's listen in this time to um, Judith, please. And then Elizabeth. Did it, ya pasaste? Yes. I'm sorry, no te no te I'm so weak. Okay. And no is... present. No, ¿cómo se dice? No presta atención. Como no, <laughs> pay attention, como no. Me okay. estaba resolviendo examen de eh, cuestión de audio. No problem. Let's listen now to uh, Elizabeth and then Gabriel. Yo ya pasé. No, no, vaya, van dos. No, son no mentiras. No. no, yo no, Mira, ahorita. A ver, que te voy a bajar un punto. <laughs> okay. No, porque si hice un momento ameno, ya me estaba durmiendo. Es Elizabeth de Stroll. Ok, continúe. <laughs> Okay, when we are clear, personal and work responsibilities. Mm -hmm. yes. Finish. Finish. Ta -da. Okay. <laughs> so it is important the responsibilities. It is not just the money, taking decisions. Definitely it is. Thank you. 
Ok, Gabriel and William. Gabriel, are you ready? Ya casi terminamos. Yes. Okay. When you start to have responsibilities and being independent. Independence, yes. Thank you. Important words. Okay, William and Juan. Okay, William. You, 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 you become an adult when you have respons responsibilities. Okay, definitely it is, especially with money, right? Juan and Kathy. Okay, Juan. Hello. 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 I become an adult when I start I start to work. When you start uh -huh, to work. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting, yes. And some people start working in a very uh, previous age. Uh, thank you. Kathy, are you there? Okay, maybe mm, she's not, okay. Something that I want to add, I también quiero agregar, bueno, a ti. Hi. Okay, Pati, are you ready to give your opinion? Okay. I come an adult when I, ha I am responsible for everything I do when I turn 28 years old. But in the pens, the country becomes a legal adult is uh, a person who has attended the the again mm -hmm. of Marjorie and is the therefore the garden as independent, self sufficient, and responsible. Yes. Of course it is, thank you. And there are some other words, paying bills, pagar los, las cuentas, recibos, and all those things, imagine. Yes, Francisco viene con todos los poderes, okay, Frank? Ya pasé, me va a decir. Yes, no, así okay. va. According to the social study, <laughs> no, we become an adult when we adquire responsibility Example, after finish school, we continue to leave home. When we get married, have children and enter the labor force. Yes. Look, leave home. Good point. Uh, work. And marry. Ok. Important words. Y si te la tarea, mira, último hora. Good, Francisco. So, can you see? Leave home, working or marriage. Those are parameters of how we can be an adult. Another thing, we have also paying bills, pagar los recibos, las cuentas, taxes. That is something that ne, nobody likes. A nadie le gustan los impuestos, right? So, taxes. Yeah, nobody expenses when you contribute to the expenses of your house when you contribute a los gastos de la casa. When you get mature, cuando ya se madura en diferentes aspectos, assume, entonces son muchos problemas, dificultades. When people depends on you, cuando también cuando las personas dependen de ti in different forms. Look at this, debts, espero que nadie tenga eso, pero normalmente se tienen, que son las deudas. And definitely when you get your ID, cuando ya obtenemos el documento de identidad, que en este caso es el DUI. Okay, so, we're going to, let's see, the last thing, because we have six minutes, solo seis minutos. And we finish this. Okay. 
Uh, yesterday we studied this. Nosotros hicimos eso. Solo no lo voy a escribir, solo ustedes me dicen, ¿verdad? En este caso le vamos a agregar el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Ya saben cómo hacerlo. Así que vamos con Roberto. And then we go with Eli. Que me la hice, me la debe. Ok, Roberto, you start. Number one, two, three, four, okay. five, six. Mm -hmm. Number six. Six. How are you travel? traveling? Mm -hmm. How are traveling. you traveling? Thank you. Okay, Elizabeth, and then we mm -hmm. go with Jocelyn. Number one. Number one. What are you doing? Perfect. Okay, Jocelyn, and then Carly. Okay, Jocelyn is not ready. Let's go. Yes, Jocelyn. Uh, number five. Five. When are they com coming? When me? are they coming? Yes. Sí, Pati, ayer hicimos eso, por eso no, no las estoy escribiendo. ¿Verdad? Es un repaso. Yes, it's a feedback. Ok, let's listen to Carly and then we go with Ivania. Um, the last, mm -hmm. uh, where, where is it start? Starting. Mm -hmm. Good, thank you. Ok, now let's see, here we have also Iris, right? Um, creo que va a ser teacher. Okay, let's try. Vamos a intentar. How many cakes it eating? Is it eating? Is Así it, es que le dije contractado. Uh -huh. Is it eating? Thank you. Okay, now okay. let's listen to um, Patty. Sé que están fáciles. Two, three, four, nine. Patricia, okay. If Patricia is not ready, let's listen to Gabriel. No, teacher. Okay. Tienes alguna de estas? Okay. Son bastante fáciles. And to finish, Christy. Mi flor. Um, four. Four. Well, to one. But don't. Who? Then. Who are you talking to? <laughs> okay. Ok, nice. Voy a pasar la lista porque se nos va el tiempo. Iris, hello. ¿Ibas a hacer una? Hello. No, verdad, ya, eh, no, ya no. Se me olvidó bajar la mano. Ajá, es que la tenías así porque la había, te habías pasado. Ok. Say hi, hello, good evening. ¿Verdad? Para, ¿cómo se llama? Pasar lista. So, let's see. Elizabeth, hi. Ok, Flor. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Good night. Good night, Gabriel. Hello. Hello, Iris. Teacher. Hello. Hola, Elizabeth. ¿Qué te noté? Aquí One. estoy. Yes. Ah, ya ves, Hello, ya ves. Ok. Uh, nice one. You did? Good night. Good night, Ivania. Hi, good night. Good night, Carly. Present. Good, Kathy. Okay, Patty, Patricia, are you there? Okay. Present, Okay, Patricia, ahora te toca la sesión, ¿verdad? Te quedas unos minutitos. Ayer no me tocó. Ayer te tocó. No te anoté. Yes. Entonces a Roberto. Robert. También. Ay, sí. <risa> no, a mí me tocó ahora. A ti te tocó ahora, Robert. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Ok, Cristi. Hi, teacher. Hello, William. Good night, teacher. Good night, and Jocelyn. 
Good night, teacher. Okay, no olviden hacer la tarea de la unidad este, 3. Okay, see you tomorrow. Mañana es viernesito. Bye bye, my friends. Good night, thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ok, eh, Roberto, a ver si hay algún tema. Sí, yo de... Hola. Estoy viendo en la plataforma y la, el video de la videoconferencia 14 aún no está. No, oh, no. no. Eh, ¿De la 14 es esta? 13, 13. Ah, no está. Ah, es que no lo de la 13 fue de, de la maño que le hicieron, por eso no lo han subido. De la maño. Ajá. ¿Cuál amaño? De las preguntas que hizo y nadie, no, no se acordaba quién era la, que hizo la mexicana. ¿Crees? No, pero lo, los, los, ¿cómo se llama? Los videos normalmente se tardan, sí, como 12 horas en subirse. No siempre están siguiente día, no. pero mañana, mañana creo que va a estar. A veces se tardan. Bueno, está pregunta. bien. Salud. Bueno. Bye bye. Okay. Gracias, yo ya me okay. quitaste otros cinco minutos con el... Ya solo me faltan cinco. No, si sí, esto es fácil, esto es rápido. Ya alguien quiere seguir. Vamos a ver, Roberto. Eh, ¿Alguna que tenía... duda con algún vocabulario, sí. tema? Sí, es que, que estaba viendo lo de las tareas. Entonces hay una parte donde dice este, que tenemos que responder I need y I have. Pero yo lo que no entiendo, ¿en qué momento se puede? Se, se utiliza el I need y el I have. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, eso más que gramatical es una cuestión de, de uso y significado. Por ejemplo, ya te digo, um, tenemos I need. Quiero ver, I need to, to send invitations for next month. Bien. Entonces cuando vos, cuando tú dices I need send invitation for the next month, eh, tienes tiempo. Sí necesitas hacerlo, pero no es como I have to organize Aquí se trata de la cuestión de urgencias. I need to send invitations for the next month. Necesito enviar invitaciones para el siguiente mes. Y aquí tenemos lo otro. I have to organize a meeting this week. Necesito organizar una, una reunión esta semana. Entonces, el I have to es algo obligatorio, algo que no te puedes escapar y que a ley lo tienes que hacer. I have to. ¿Ok? Cuando te dice el jefe, I need you to check your mail. Necesito que revises tu correo. ¿Ok? Necesito que y la otra sería I you have to come to work on Sunday. Mira la diferencia. Necesito que revises tu correo. Y la otra es, tienes que venir a trabajar el domingo. Te das cuenta que la diferencia es, I need you to check. Necesito que revises tu correo. La siguiente es, tienes que venir. O sea, esto es obligatorio. Sí o sí. Si no venís, ah, vamos a tener problemas. Digámoslo así. O sea, vaya, le entendí. I have es obligatorio y I sería... Que si es necesario, es necesario, ¿verdad? Pero no es tan urgente como el have to. Si es necesario, sería. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver otro ejemplo. Decime algo que tenés que hacer durante este mes. I eh, need... Reuniones. Ok, I need to attend meetings. Necesito atender reuniones. Ahora. Algo obligatorio que tengas que hacer esos días o la otra semana? Los reportes. I have, para reportes. I have to uh -huh. Entonces, 
Las reuniones pueden ser importantes o no, ¿verdad? Algunas más que otras. La diferencia de la otra es, I have to prepare reports. Si no preparas los reportes que urgen más, vas a tener dificultades. Uh -huh. Ya captaste, ¿verdad? Entonces, el have to ajá, es súper obligatorio. Es que, ajá, pues, por eso lo puse, por eso lo, lo estoy poniendo aquí, que I have to es obligatorio y hay niveles como que uh -huh. necesario. Sí, I have to es yo tengo que. Tengo uh -huh. que hacerlo, si no me van a llamar la atención el jefe o me van a molestar o algo así. En cambio, el need es que algo que necesitas hacer, pero que se puede posponer un par de días, ya que tienes tiempo. Normalmente cuando se tiene un poco de tiempo ya para hacer las cosas. So that's the difference. Ah, pues, eso le era como que mi, la, la vida que me agobiaba y no me dejaba dormir. Ahí está, estabas ahí con insomnio. Este, una consulta, Ajá. Roberto, ya habías tenido otros cursos, ¿verdad? Sí. No. no, solo el módulo primero. Pero a veces, eh, entonces te gusta el inglés, ¿verdad? Porque si te escucha cierta fluidez, ¿cierto? Siento ah. que, que, que capta bastante. bastante bien. Ah, sí, así me decía mi profesor en, en bachillerato. Entonces, Pero sí, si no, es primera vez que, que tengo un curso así. Vaya, entonces, eh, si tenés, ya tenés, como digamos, nato, esa, ese chip de la habilidad del inglés, ¿por qué le captas? Entonces, lo que sí te sugiero que hagas es que practiques un poquito más, lo haces excelente, pero puedes mejorar el tema de fluidez, agregar, ¿te acuerdas la, las palabras que les presenté sobre las eh, palabras de, de enlace? Es decir, however, but, besides, también, in addition, además, ¿Verdad? Entonces, esas palabras ayudan a que nuestras ideas se, 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 se unan, porque a veces tenemos varias ideas y no tenemos cómo vincularlas. Así sí, porque que... de hecho, este, eh, un compañero en el trabajo me dijo que nosotros estamos acostumbrados a pronunciar en español, pero tendríamos que pronunciarlo, aprendernos el diccionario en inglés, porque digamos A, la decimos A, pero es A. Y así vamos como que las letras. Uh -huh. Sí, fíjate que hay variaciones. Hay variaciones. Por ejemplo, ¿qué? Tenemos el inglés americano y el, y el británico. Entonces tenemos acá que es color. Para los británicos es color, ¿verdad? Entonces no pronuncian la R y cositas así. Como Estados Unidos es grande. Entonces uh -huh. la cuestión es que como acuérdate que son 51 estados y cada estado es más grande que El Salvador, hay variaciones, ¿verdad? Pero yo pienso que así como va, va bastante bien, ¿verdad? Aprendete las palabras. Si te das cuenta, las palabras que doy al inicio de clase te ayudan bastante para extender tu vocabulario. Y de eso se trata, porque sí, siento que los temas los captas y todo, no hay ningún problema. Ah, ¿para qué? No, no, de hecho, ¿verdad? Que hay unos temas que los sentí fáciles. Sí, sí, hay veces. Ya ves. Entonces va bien, acuérdate que hay ciertos compañeros que sí tienen un conocimiento y hay otros que, que no tanto, que les cuestan, ¿verdad? Pero eso es, Roberto, sí que animarte que sigas porque sí vas a aprender todavía más. ¿Lo viste? Ah, sí, gracias, Ticho. Es que así sería y nos vemos mañana entonces. Mira, esto ya casi se termina, ya se va a cocinar este arroz. Pero ya no, ya no pasaron para el siguiente módulo, no te preocupes. Va, <ríe> excelente. Estamos ahí entonces. Good night. Good night.